Here's an example of a number in exponential form that's then evaluated. So we have a base here, 5 is our base, and we have an exponent of 3. The exponent tells us how many times to multiply the base by itself. We have 5 times 5 times 5, and our answer is 125. Here's another one, 2 to the third power. We have a base of 2 and an exponent of 3, and we can evaluate this as 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. Sometimes you can have a negative base, too. Let's say we have negative 3 to the third power. We can evaluate that by multiplying negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times a negative 3 equals negative 27. We could also have negative 2 to the fourth power, which becomes negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is 4 times a negative 2 is negative 8 times a negative 2 equals a positive 16. We've evaluated this expression as well. Here we have x to the third times x to the fifth. When you multiply values in exponential form, we add the exponents. x times x is still x. 3 plus 5 is 8. This becomes evaluated as x to the eighth power. This is an example of the product of powers property, which says that for real numbers, when you multiply values with exponents, you add the value of the exponents. Let's take a look at another one. We have a to the fifth times a to the seventh. We're going to add these exponents, 5 plus 7, which equals, oops, 5 plus 7, which equals a to the 12th. This is our answer. But what happens in a situation like this one? We have x to the third, and this whole quantity is squared. This means we have x to the third times x to the third. If we have this, we can simply add the exponents. We have x to the sixth. But sometimes you're going to need a shortcut. Take a look at this next one. We have x to the sixth times seven. We could write out x to the sixth seven times. But when you are multiplying the whole quantity by a value outside the parentheses, you can multiply the exponents. 6 times 7 is 42. This is equal to x to the 42nd power. So notice these two things are different. The first one you can have is like this. And when you have a situation like this, you add your exponents, which would be x to the 5 x to the fifth. The second way you can have it is like this, which is x squared three times, and in this case we multiply the exponents, and this becomes x to the sixth.